Acorn Soft was the software arm of Acorn Computers, and a major publisher of software for the BBC Micro and Acorn Electron. As well as games, it also produced a large number of educational titles, extra computer languages and business and utility packages. These included Word Processor View and the Spreadsheet View Sheet supplied on ROM in cartridge for the BBC Micro, Acorn Electron and included as standard in the BBC Master and Acorn Business Computer. Acorn Soft was formed in late 1980 by Acorn Computers directors Herman Hauser and Chris Curry, and David Johnson Davies, author of the first game for a UK personal computer and of the official Acorn Atom Manual, Atomic Theory and Practice. David Johnson Davies was managing director and in early 1981 was joined by Tim Dobson, programmer and Chris Jordan, publications editor. While some of their games were clones or remakes of popular arcade games, they also published a number of original ground-breaking titles such as Aviator, Elite and Revs which went on to spawn entire genres that live on to this day. Acorn Soft also published a number of text adventure games by authors such as Peter Kilworth, including Philosopher's Quest and Countdown to Doom, that remain highly regarded within the interactive fiction community. Acorn Soft ceased to operate as a separate company upon the departure of David Johnson Davies in January 1986. Past this date, Acorn Computers used the Acorn Soft name on Office software it released in the View family for the BBC Master Series. In 1986 Superior Software was granted a license to publish some Acorn Soft games and re-release many. Individually and as compilations such as the Play It Again Sam and Acorn Soft hit series. By agreement, the Acorn Soft name was also used on the packaging of some of the subsequent Superior games. Superior chose not to take on Acorn Soft's text adventure games, most of which were released in updated versions by Topologica along with some sequels from the same authors. Branding. Acorn Soft titles extended their consistent branding to the software's loading screens. Select titles. A Shetan, A Text Adventure, Arcadians, A Galaxy and Clone, Aviator, A Spitfire Flight Simulator, With Aliens, Bouncer, AQ Asterisk Burt Clone, Business Games, An Educational Package, Carousel, A Carnival Clone, Castle of Riddles, A Text Adventure, Countdown to Doom, A Text Adventure, First in a Trilogy, Crazy Tracer, An Amida Clone, Drogna, strategy game based on a section of the BBC TV game show The Adventure Game, Elite, a 3D space battle and trading game, Firebug, a platform and ladders game, Free Fall, survival game set in an out-of-control space station, Gateway to Karis, a text adventure, Hopper, a frog a clone, JCB Digger, a scrolling 2D dig em up, Kingdom of Hamill, a text adventure, Labyrinth, a 2D maze-based shoot em up, Magic Mushrooms, a platform and ladders game with built-in level editor, Meteor Mission, a lunar rescue clone, Meteors, an asteroids clone, Missile Base, a missile command clone, Monsters, a space panic clone, Philosopher's Quest, a text adventure, Planetoid, a Defender clone originally released as Defender, Revs, a Formula 3 racing car simulation, Rocket Raid, a Scramble clone, Snapper, a Pac-Man clone, Sphinx Adventure, a text adventure, Starship Command, a 2D space battle game, Super Invaders, a Space Invaders clone, Volcano, a game in which you rescue people from the other side of an active volcano with a helicopter, Acorn Soft Games range, including all arcade, text adventure and board games. All games were compatible with the BBC Micro Model B. Games followed by Model A and B were compatible with both machines. Games followed by Electron were also released separately for the Acorn Electron. Games are listed by their catalogue numbers which are roughly the order of release of the BBC versions. Geo 1 Philosopher's Quest 
GO2 Defender deleted for legal reasons and later re-released as Planetoid. GO2 Aviator released with G26 G28 but reused the deleted Defender's number. GO3 Monsters. GO4 Snapper. GO5 Rocket Raid. GO6 Arcade Action 4 Games. Invaders Breakout, Dodgems and Snake. GO7 Sphinx Adventure. GO8 Cube Master. GO9 JCB Digger. G10 Chess. G11 Maze. G12 Sliding Block Puzzles. G13 Meteors. G14 Arcadians. G15 Planetoid. G16 Super Invaders. G17 Castle of Riddles. G18 Missile Base. G19 Countdown to Doom. G20 Drafts and Reversi. G21 Snooker. G22 Starship Command. G23 Hopper. G24 Carousel. G25 Kingdom of Hamil. G26 Crazy Tracer. G27 Drogna. G28 Freefall. G29 Meteor Mission. G30 Gateway to Karis. G31 Boxer, G32 Tetrapod, G33 Volcano, G34 Black Box and Gambit, Ben Finn, developer of Black Box, a went on to co-write Sibelius, G35 Bouncer, G36 The Seventh Star, G37 The Shetan, G38 Elite, G39 Firebug, G40 Quandim, G41 Labyrinth, G42 Go, G43 Revs, G44 Revs 4 tracks extra tracks for the main game, G45 Elite Original BBC Micro 6502 Second Processor Version, G46 Magic Mushrooms, G47 Elite Enhanced INCL, 6502 Second Processor and Master 128 Versions. There are also a number of completed but unreleased games that have found their way into the public domain such as Crazy Balloon, Hellforce and Band at that date from around 1983. Acorn Soft Education Range Acorn Soft produced a wide range of educational titles aimed at many different age groups. EO1 Algebraic Manipulation, EO2 Pico Computer, EO3 Business Games 2 Games, Stokemark and Telemark, EO4 Tree of Knowledge, EO5 Word Hunt, EO6 Word Sequencing, EO7 Sentence Sequencing, EO8 Number Balance, EO9 Missing Signs, E, Speed and Light, E, Density and Circuit, E12 Chemical Analysis, E13 Chemical Simulations, E14 Chemical Structures, E15 Jars, E16 Temperature Control Simulation, E17 The Examiner, E18 Spooky Manor, E19, E20, E21, E22 Talkback, E23 Workshop, E24 ABC, Acorn Soft also published and distributed a range of educational software developed by ASK that were widely used in schools running BBC Micros. These included Pot, Squeeze and Cranky. These titles were part of the Acorn Soft catalog but used a different code. They ran on both the BBC Micro Model B and Acorn Electron. The Ivanberg software range was also mainly educational but had its own distinct code. Acorn Soft also distributed other ranges of educational programs developed by companies such as ICL, Good Housekeeping and Born but they are not considered part of the official catalog. Acorn Soft Business Range Acorn Soft produced a range of office software for home and business use. BO1 Desk Diary BO2 Forecast BO3 View BO4 View Printer Drivers BO5 Personal Money Management BO6 Database BO7 View Sheet BO8 Invoicing BO9 Mailing B10 Accounts Receivable B11 Stock Control B12 Order Processing B13 Accounts Payable B14 Purchasing B15 High View The series continues but mainly with add-on products for the View word processor such as VWindex and ViewSpell as well as newer versions.
Acorn Soft Languages range. Acorn Systems came with a version of the BBC Basic Programming Language as standard but Acorn Soft also produced a wide range of other languages that could be loaded in by cassette or disc or in some cases supplied in ROM form. LO1 4th, LO2 Lisp, LO3 BCPL, LO4 Microtext. LO5 6502 Development System, LO6 Logo, LO7 Turtle Graphics, LO8 S Pascal, LO9 Lisp Demonstrations, L10 BCPL Calculations Package, L11, L12 BCPL Standalone Generator, L13 4th ROM version, L14 Lisp ROM version, L15, L16, L17 Prolog Micro, L18 ISO Pascal, L19 Comal, L20, L21, L22 Basic Editor, L23 Tumulator, L24 ISO Pascal Standalone Generator, Acorn Soft Graphics Range and more. The graphics range was used to demonstrate the graphical power of the Acorn computers but only three titles were made available. The X code was then used for other types of software. X01 Creative Graphics, X02 Graphs and Charts, X03 Picture Maker, X04 Shirley Conran's Magic Garden, X05 Collector's Catalog, X06 Membership Manager, X07 1-9, X08 Hooked on Numbers, X09, X10 Complete Cocktail Maker, X11 Paul Daniels Magic Show, X12 100 Programs for the BBC Micro, X13 Link Word French, X14 Link Word Italian, X15 Link Word Spanish, X16 Link Word German, X17 Watch or Wait, X18 Me and My Micro. The range took on various themes including creative sound, 